greetings and salutations, my excellent friends. It is a beautiful yet chilly day today. But as you can see, the sun is out, which is a far cry from what it was yesterday. We had nothing but overcast and snow, but I knew today would be sunny. I knew today would be beautiful, which is why I'm finally taking you to a place I've been longing to introduce you to for some time. Oh man, I tell you, that is a beautiful sight. I've never actually come out here in the winter time, so it really makes today's visit extra special. Now I first came across the cemetery here when I was going for a run when I first moved to Dongtan. It's located right next to Gihum and Dongtan Interchange on Highway Number 1. And I think it's one of the most special things about this city because Dongtan's only about four years old, so it's a really new city. And to have a family cemetery of this size is just amazing. Now this cemetery is made up with several people belonging to Count Gyoyi's lineal. And that includes Park Ju, Park Yo, Park Dai Ha, Park Uk, Park Wan Kyung, and their descendants. Now on this first day after the snow, I don't see any footsteps going up to the grave sites, which means I may be the first person coming up here today. Now, on the hillside, there are three distinct areas. Now, directly in front of me are three mounds, and then to the right, there's one large one, and then over on the far right, it's just a massive compound of tombs. So three different tiers. It's beautiful. You know, turning back and taking a look at the shrine from this first hilltop is absolutely amazing. I'm not sure what it's used for, I'm assuming that during Chusak and Sala families come out here and pay their respects both there and here at the actual tomb sites. But on this quiet day, even next to the highway, it's so tranquil. It makes it just that much more special. Now each tomb does have a steel, which if I recall correctly, denotes the accomplishments of the buried person's life. Now, a few of them also have statues standing in front of them. And I'm assuming that that kind of denotes that they were fairly important and had some kind of religious function since they appear to be Joseon era scholars or priests. Of all the tombs here at the cemetery, this one is the only one that's in the actual sunlight. So, a lot of the snow has melted away from the tombs. I mean, you get an idea as to how big these were. These in the first tier are not very large, but as we go up the hill, they get more massive and the steels become more defined. And even the scholar statues on the last tier are about three times the size as the ones over on the other grave site. Now one thing I do find interesting is on this lower tier, we have the main tomb and then two smaller ones, but there's a vacant spot. And I really wonder what the story is behind there. This really is one of my favorite places in all of Dongtan. It's just so peaceful, it's so quiet. And walking around the grounds, you can really feel a sense of family. I just really feel connected to those people that are interned here because I know the amount of care it takes to preserve grave sites. And I really am thankful that so many people take the time out to make sure that their ancestors' final resting places are so well maintained. I especially want to thank the caretaker of this grave site for allowing me to walk around today. I really do appreciate it because this has been a very special experience for me. What I would like to know is in your neck of the woods, do you have any special family cemeteries? And if so, what are they like? If you've enjoyed the video, I hope you'll click the subscribe button so you'll never miss a future update. Give it a good thumbs up, and of course, share it with your friends. In a fantastic family cemetery in Dongtan, South Korea, thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time.